Hey, so welcome back. Today we're gonna be transforming this clock that I found at the Goodwill for four bucks. Isn't it so cute? I loved it because I didn't really like the color, but I definitely like the shape of it and I like the design. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool how it just pops off that face. And it does work, so yeah, pretty good find for four bucks. I thought, wouldn't it be cute? White. And that's what I'm doing, painting it white. This is chalk paint. I'm using Waverly um, that I got from Walmart. As I'm watching this playback, doing the voiceover, I'm really loving the white. I'm having second thoughts. Let me know in the comments if I should just repaint it white. I might do that. <laughs> The next day it's all dry that's two coats of paint we're gonna pop the clock part black back out and I did have a little bit of um, like scuffing or crackling but that's fine and now I'm gonna take this fine brush you actually should use a, probably a finer one and you'll get um, tighter lines but basically um, yeah I use that one and I went in with the rose gold which is also a Waverly paint. It's a metallic and it, I also bought it from Walmart. So, yep, that's what I did. So as you can see, some of the lines are not that um, precise and that's because, like I said at the beginning, I used um, not the thinnest brush. So definitely use a thin, uh, the thinnest one that you can find so that you can get a really sturdy line. But overall, I think it came out pretty decent. Um, and we're just going to put that to dry because now we have to actually paint the little metal face of the clock so that everything matches. And I'm just gonna do two coats of the solid white and that's it. So here's the finished product from my little thrifted uh, Goodwill clock, super cute. I really like the results and yeah. Let me know what you think by using the little thumbs up or I guess thumbs down and also don't forget to subscribe, thanks.